After finding the stresses that affect a specific location within a structure, we find the stressed state shown. What are the principal stresses, the maximum in-plane shearing stress, and the maximum overall shearing stress? This is the first example for the Moore Circle main video. The link to that main video and other examples are in the description below. By using the two expressions we derived during that main video, we can find the location of the center of the Moore Circle and its radius. The maximum stress would be 15 plus 13 on the right and 15 minus 13 on the left. With the zero location on the x-axis, we can draw the y or tau axis. The maximum in-plane shearing stress is the radius of the circle, and by knowing that sigma z is zero, and therefore that principal stress must be zero, we find a Moore circle that encompasses both that has a radius of half its diameter of 28. The principal stresses would therefore be 28, 2, and 0. Even though it's not part of the question, the location of capital X would be 20 on the x-axis and the shearing stress vector that affects that x phase would be trying to rotate the element counterclockwise, which means that the 12 ksi value for the shearing stress would be located in the negative y-axis. For the capital Y location, we see a 10 ksi for the sigma axis value and a shearing stress vector that affects the Y phase that is trying to rotate the element clockwise, and therefore the 12 value is on the positive Y axis. The diagonal XY could be used to find theta P and theta S, the angles of rotation to get to the principal stress and the maximum shearing stress. For more examples and more circle, as well as the links to the other videos of the Mechanics of Materials course, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.